Hello once again YouTube, Chris and I bring here, bringing you some Star Maiden New Eden Fleet Works, and today we are taking a look at some new stuff that I'll be working on, because I've done some stuff recently that is now finished, sort of, and uh, we'll be talking about it. So uh, I'm sitting here in the Galente sector, uh, quote-unquote Galente sector, um, where I have all my Galente ships. Uh, as you may or may not notice, have noticed, uh, I've been kind of lacking in the whole content creation on my channel. Not as much stuff posted as I would like, and certainly not as much stuff posted uh, as I was posting two weeks ago. And the reason I was doing that was because I was trying to build something for you guys. I was trying to build my first destroyer. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you'd be getting a new frigate each week, and I know that a lot of you were looking forward to something that's bigger than a frigate. Of course, we have frigates here in front of us, and... You know, they're not the most exciting ships, they're pretty cool, but so far I haven't accomplished anything, well, I'm not going to say noteworthy, but in impressive on the next level, you know, like the next level up. I hadn't done anything like that, I was focusing on the frigates a little bit too much, I think, and so I've gone ahead and finished the Amar Dragoon. Now you can watch my previous videos and you'll know exactly what ship I'm talking about. It's the one I've been focusing on in my last few NEF episodes for the last week or two, um, and that ship is at a state where I can release it. It's not finished. Uh, I would certainly like to add more to it. There's things like uh, the uh, module system, things like the energy neutralizer system, which is part of that ship's, you know, role, and on top of that, there are changes to the health system that I have no idea when they are coming. Health system is like a major feature that I'm waiting for because the health system will help me further balance these ships and I think it's really important and I just really can't do anything uh, further. I can't. I, I have vowed to not make any more hull color variants uh, for any ships until the health system is out because I need to get those values so that I'm not making duplicates of ships that I'm just gonna end up remaking so that they are super balanced because that's cool. That's cool as shit. So we are at a point where um, I need to uh, release that ship, and you'll be getting it this uh, Sunday. You should be getting it this Sunday. If, if you don't get it this Sunday, then something has gone horribly wrong. But um, you should be getting it this Sunday. I've done some combat testing. I plan on doing some more and recording it for the, the channel. Not all of you managed to get to my Twitch streams, which is where I do some of this type of exciting stuff. So I very much implore you to go down into the description Go on to my Twitch channel and follow me there so that you can, uh, well, partake in the uh, the excitement that is combat testing with a ship this big. Uh, in case you didn't know, this is an Algos, it's also a destroyer, and it is the next ship I will be working on. Uh, in terms of destroyer-sized vessels, I will not be focusing on this ship entirely. I'll be doing this in bursts throughout you know, the weeks. Maybe one of the videos a week will be an update on what I've managed to do on it. Other than that, I will still be focusing on frigates primarily until most of the frigates are done. There are still a shit ton of frigates to do, so don't worry. That'll all come along uh, nicely down the line. So, um, along with the uh, the Dragoon, you'll be getting uh, the drone pack that I promised you for last week. This Friday, uh, you'll be getting the drones, five drones that you can use with the Amar Dragoon. Of course, they're all different and for different reasons. You know, some of them are cheaper, some of them are faster, some of them are more have more shields or armor or have uh, uh, better weapons. Of course, there is technically one that is the best out of all of them, and I suppose you guys will be using that the most. Uh, it's also kind of like the nicest looking one in my opinion, so that's just plus. But um, <clears throat> uh, keep in mind that you know if you're playing on a, I mean, I know people use salvagers like crazy. And stuff but like you know if you're playing on a server where you are you have limited credits well then these drones are cheap I'm not really sure how effective they'll be but they're cheap um, the ship itself the Dragoon is probably gonna be expensive as fuck because uh, <laughs> that thing is loaded and I mean loaded with interior design stuff um, blow it up I implore you when you get the ship blow it the fuck up uh, you'll see why when I release the combat test videos uh, next week or this week or something, but I implore you blow up that ship. It's awesome now uh, The reason I am releasing that ship is because uh, I have passed 3,000 subscribers and 400,000 views on my channel, which is just absolutely nuts and uh, it marks you know another milestone that I've hit um, next goal 5,000 subs 
We have to get there. We have to. 5,000 subscribers and uh, 700,000 views. Let's see if we can get that. Oh god, I don't even know when. I don't even know how m fast I should expect that. Maybe in the next six months. Let's get another 2,000. I don't know if I could honestly pull off getting 2,000 subscribers in six months. I'm gonna fucking try. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because there's more than just the YouTube channel that I'm focusing on now. Um, I've kind of started something, and I'm not really sure how big it's going to grow. I know where I want it to go. Um, of course, I am speaking of the Armada at this point. Uh, something that you guys are all a little familiar with at this uh, point in time. Uh, it is a network. It's supposed to be a network of people that can play together, stream together, and collaborate with each other for their YouTube channels. And I didn't think it was going to explode as fast as it did. It's still not even reached its peak because I'm still working a lot of stuff out with, you know, the other members. Uh, so far that member list is very short, but in the future it could grow to be a very big list uh, very quickly, especially with how close-knit the Star Maid community is right now. We could easily incorporate other members into the Armada fleet. So, um, real quick, uh, I'm going to give you a preview of something that I'm working for tw on for Twitch. Uh, this will be uh, part of uh, an intro sequence. I'm not going to go too much into it right now, just watch the clip real quick and uh, enjoy the cool visuals. Alright, so you uh, have seen that now. Um, Obviously, you guys have absolutely fucking no idea what that is, other than uh, some sort of audio visualizer. Basically, um, you know, I, I am starting to rebrand everything, uh, especially, you know, with the Armada and how I'm leading it. I gotta incorporate that into my channel now. So, um, I'm starting with Twitch, sort of, because Twitch was what it was primarily designed for, the Armada, the whole thing, but in the future you'll be seeing it on uh, the uh, YouTube channel as well, especially in, you know, just random branding, logos, intros and outros and stuff. But that is an intro song for Twitch, um, the link for the, uh, the song itself, as well as the visualizer parts, can be found in the description below. Um, that being said, uh, you know, I realized in the course of starting this, that Twitch is just as important to focus on as YouTube, and I really want to focus on Twitch just as much as I focus on YouTube, because it's a whole different experience. If you haven't already, I suggest you go follow me down there, because it's just fun to interact with you guys, to talk to you guys, to do things like combat testing in my Dragoon. That's not something I can do for my channel as often. The reason is, is because it just takes too long. You know, sometimes yeah, setting it up so that I have a wave of pirates takes me a few minutes, and then by then the half half the video is gone. You know, I only want to spend 15 minutes talking to you tops. Um, I don't want to waste any more of your time. If you got other videos to watch, of course, and I post a shit ton of stuff, uh, or I should be every day. So I don't want to, you know, consume too much of your time, and at the same time, I want to give you something uh, worthwhile and something worth looking at. So. You know, I can't do everything for the channel, but I would like to. So you're going to start seeing some really cool, you know, graphical stuff come out for me. Now that I'm done with the Dragoon, I have some time to focus on this stuff. The Dragoon was kind of being pushed along in development simply because I wanted to get this out for my 3,000 subscriber special type of deal. Um, it's a big ship. It's the next step up, and uh, it's something I haven't done before, so I thought it was pretty appropriate. I was going to ask you if you guys wanted to make wanted me to make you a custom build ship, something of my own design. I just didn't have the time, and tell you what, we'll do that soon. I promise we'll start designing our own ships soon, or at least I will. I mean, <clears throat> you guys can, you know, give me feedback, I guess, but there's still things that I want to build. Trust me, I've got ideas. I've got ideas. We'll get to those. We'll get to those. So, um... Aside from here, this ship right here, the Algos, I will be working on the frigates still. Um, I will be working on the Algos like sporadically as time goes on and just randomly and I don't really guarantee that it will be done even within the next month, 
but uh, I'll be working on it, of course. It's a smaller ship, so it should be faster. There's a lot less, you know, surface area to cover, and that's, uh, that's good, because, uh, well, frankly, I don't want to fucking deal with tons of surface area. That Dragoon was utterly nuts. You know, I thought I was done, and then it kept going. So, there's that. Um, aside from that, let's, uh, teleport to not this sector. Oh, I did it again. This sector. No? That doesn't make any sense. This sector, there it is, there there we go. So uh, the, now I'm in the uh, Sasha's Nation sector. I haven't actually spawned in the ship that I want to show you. Of course, you remember this big old wall here, something that is still not done and something that is part of a massive project. Um, I'll be completely honest, the Dragoon was harder than this thing. I'll be completely honest, the Dragoon was harder than this thing. And it took... I'm still not done with this wall and it's like three times as long as the Dragoon, at least. It's kind of nuts. It's actually like three and a half or four times lo as long as the Dragoon, which is absolutely nuts. Um, so, yeah, the Dragoon was a ton of work. Um, and I'm not going to spoil that right now. That's why you're not seeing the Dragoon. You'll be able to see all the Dragoon in all its glory in the combat testing videos, the uh, interior showcase video that I'll do next week, as well as the, um, the actual ship release cinematic. So don't worry, guys. You'll get to see all the juicy details this weekend. That being said... Um, the next ship I decided I'd be working on, if I can go to my catalog now, um, it's time we did another faction ship, I believe. So, uh, Sasha's Nation Succubus Wireframe. This will be the next ship I work on. Um, it's an easy looking ship, it's a little bit bigger. Oh god, I didn't actually- oh no! 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 It's literally moving my entire wall away, holy shit. Wow, I can't believe it actually managed to do that. Um, all I really wanted was to spawn that thing in, and look what it's done. Uh, well then, okay. Uh, we're going to admin load that in again. Uh, wire frame. And we're going to get rid of the front, because that's too long of a name. There it is, there's the succubus. This is the ship that I'll be doing next. It's a very small ship as you can see. It's such an easy shape that I should be able to get it done in like two days. I'm not even kidding. I bet you I could get this thing done in two days. I have no idea what the stats are on this thing. I know that it has high shields and high armor, so this thing actually might be hard to kill uh, for some people. I don't know, especially with my systems. But it's time we did another faction ship. I've done Galente ships. I've done... I think I've done a Kaldari ship. I've done the Kaldari shuttle, and I've done the Kaldari fighters and bombers. Fuck the Kaldari. I'm not... I used to be all about the Kaldari. Now I don't even want to do Kaldari. I want to do Amar, surprisingly enough. And Galente. Um, so, uh, I've done, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, somebody actually requested the Succubus to be the next ship. So, I, I think I can get it done really quickly, and it'll be released really soon. Um... It'll be released, pro it's definitely going to be released after the Dragoon. It's going to be the next ship I release. So don't worry, this thing will be coming. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I have no idea. Um, expect new intros to be popping up on my channel. Expect things like new outros, new logos. Of course, Twitch is becoming a massive part. And I am really going to crack down on just, you know getting the content out and making sure that everything's up and running smoothly. I just, you know, swamped with getting this Armada stuff uh, going. I want to take my time. I want to make sure that what I present to you is good. Um, it's got to be above par. It's got to be 110%. It's got to be the best looking shit you've ever seen. I really, really mean it when I say that. It has to be the best shit you have seen. So, with that being said, um, one last thing I would like to announce is that I'm going to try and start streaming on Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, if you don't know what Eastern Standard Time is for you and your time zone, you can totally look that up. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 6 p.m. for uh, the East Coast. I believe it's 3 p.m. for the West Coast, and I believe it's 11 p.m. for anyone living around Europe-y areas. Well, of course, that's multiple time zones, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, other than that, I have no fucking clue what time it is for your time zone. But, 
you can start expecting me at those time zones, uh, including today, hopefully, if I go to sleep and get up in time and do all sorts of other things that I need to do. But I think 6 p.m. is a good time. You know, it's late in the evening. People on the West Coast are getting out of school if they're in school or, they, you know, they're getting home and they'll still, I'll still be streaming at that point. I plan on doing this every day or as many days as I can. If I don't stream, oh well. But I will be starting at 6 p.m. from now on. I will have a schedule. You can show up and expect me to start the stream at 6 p.m. I mean it. I really, really want to start doing this. And I really hope I can convince a few other people to start doing this. Um, other than that, uh, the, Amara, the Armada grows every day. New people are following, new people are subscribing, and it's looking good so far, guys. So I'm really excited to show you some future cool badass shit. Um, I plan on playing more games. I plan on posting the content more often. I don't know how effective it's going to be. I'm going to go crazy. And uh, I'm not kidding when I say that. I'm going to go fucking nuts. Uh, so, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little sneak peek as into some stuff. And uh, I hope you're excited for all the things that are coming your way soon, including the ships and all that stuff. And I thank you again. You guys got me to, you know, 3,000 subs. Let's see where we can go in the next, like, six months. Let's, let's see where we can... Let, let's see what we can do. So, thank you again. Um, I love you all. You're the best. That's the first time I think I've said that on camera. That's kind of weird. I'm not going to say that ever again. Savor it. Savor it. Goodbye. Things like the energy neutralizer system, which is part of that ship's, you know, role. And on top of that, there are changes to the health system that I have no idea when they are coming. Health system is like a major feature that I'm waiting for because the health system will help me further balance these ships. And I think it's really important and I just really can't do anything uh, further. I can't, I, I have vowed to not make any more hull color variants. Uh, for any ships until the health system is out because I need to get those values so that I'm not making duplicates of ships. Hello once again YouTube, Chris and I bring here bringing you some Star Maiden New Eden Fleet Works and today we are taking a look at some new stuff that I'll be working on because I've done some stuff recently that is now finished, sort of, and uh, we'll be talking about it. So uh, I'm sitting here in the Galente sector uh, quote-unquote Galente sector um, where I have all my Galente ships uh, as you may or may not notice I have noticed uh, I've been kind of lacking in the whole content creation on my ships that I'm just gonna end up remaking so that they are super balanced because that's cool that's cool as shit so we are at a point where um, I need to uh, release that ship and you'll be getting it this uh, Sunday. You should be getting it this Sunday. If if you don't get it this Sunday, then something has gone horribly wrong. But um, you should be getting it this Sunday. I've done some combat testing. I plan on doing some more and recording it for the, the channel. Not all of you managed to get to my Twitch streams, which is where I do some of this type of exciting stuff. So I have a channel. Not as much stuff posted as I would like, and certainly not as much stuff posted uh, as I was posting two weeks ago. And the reason I was doing that was because I was trying to build something for you guys. I was trying to build my first destroyer. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you'd be getting a new frigate each week, and I know that a lot of you were looking forward to something that's bigger than a frigate. Of course, we have frigates here in front of us, and, you know, they're not the most exciting ships. They're pretty cool, but so far I haven't accomplished anything, well, I'm not going to say noteworthy, but... Yeah impressive on the next level you know like the next level up I hadn't done anything like that I was focusing on the frigates a little bit too much I think and so I've gone ahead and finished the Amar Dragoon now you can watch my previous videos and you'll know exactly what ship I'm talking about it's the one I've been focusing on in my last few NEF episodes for the last week or two um, and that ship is at a state where I can release it it's not finished 
Uh, I would certainly like to add more to it. There's things like uh, the uh, module system, 